So let's take you to Kumasi. Nana Bwachi Yadom has been on the campaign trail of Dr. Baumu Dubalmia. He's wrapping up his tour in that region. He joins us live here on News X with more. Nana, what can you report? What new promises have been made? Nana, I'm hoping you can hear me. I'm asking what new promises have been made. Well, Aisha, we are currently at the Kwabri East District where the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, is interacting with chiefs and people here. Well, a lot of promises have been made by the Vice President since he began his tour in the Ashanti region. Um, his flat rate policies, um, issues of em employment have been raised yesterday when he had his Youth Connect with youths here in the Ashanti region. He has made several promises when it comes to um, health infrastructure in the Ashanti region. Here, one of the major concerns about residents in the Ashanti region have to do with um, congestion at the Confanoti Teaching Hospital and some stored hospital projects, um, including the Sewa Regional Hospital and then the Aferi uh, Military Hospital. Well, the, uh, the Vice President and the flag bearer of the MPP has been making some promises with regards to the completion and um, uh, commissioning of these projects. He says that the Sewa Government Hospital is expected to be commissioned somewhere in um, July and then the Aferi Military Hospital to be commissioned by August. Several promises have been made by the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. He's inspecting road projects here at the Kwabri East District. This place has to um, have some concerns when it comes to road infrastructure. And that is why the Vice President has to take turn to visit the Kwabri East District to inspect the road project here. Um, he has been interacting with the chiefs here and the Vice President is expected to also lay out his vision when it comes to um, road projects in the Kwabri East District. So I have with me the um, Regional General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party who has been monitoring the Vice President's tour. But before that, I must say that the Vice President will be visiting the Asante Hini to force it to the second somewhere around 12 p.m. to have um, some interaction with him. That before that, he has already have had a similar engagement with the Ashanti Regional House of Chiefs where he made a promise of giving them living allowances as part of efforts to um, improve traditional um, councils and then traditional rule um, in making sure that they, have, they form part of, of Ghana's governance system. Lawyer. I mean, several promises have been made by the, uh, by the flag bearer, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Road projects in the Kwabri East District. What do you have to tell us? We, 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 we are going to keep to our promises like we've done before. At the time that we were promising Ghanaians that we're going to have free SHS, our main opponents told the whole of Ghana that's not going to be possible. And if it were to be possible, it would have been done by Kwame Nkrumah long ago. And it would only be possible after 20 years. But today you are a witness to the fact that free SHS is on course. And we are going to maintain that. So the, every promise that we are keeping, uh, uh, we are promising, we will keep the promise when it's given the nod. Uh, so looking at health projects in the Ashanti region, he says he's going to complete Sewa and then a ferry. How sure are you about that? The, the, facility, the, the facility is completed. What is left is the uh, road leading to um, the Sewa hospital. And then um, for the Sewa hospital, we, we need transformers to be fixed exclusively for the uh, hospital. If that is done, I can assure you by the end of Ju July, what I've heard is that by the, by the end of July, it is possible that it may be open to the public for use. Thank you so much. And that is lawyer Adumapia, and he is the Ashanti Regional General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party. We are at the um, um, Kwabri East um, District uh, constituency, I must say, where the Vice President has been ha having some short interactions with, with chiefs here and um, with his promises on, on making sure that their roads uh, are fixed any moment from now. The Vice President will be moving right away from here. His interaction is done too. He'll be moving right from here to the Menshia Palace where he'll be having um, a short interaction with the Asante Hindu two four or say to two the second. That is the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, in your short. He's moving straight to the Mensha Palace to have an interaction with the Asante Rutum Forset to the second. Later onward, he'll be meeting traders and queen mothers um, at the um, Kumasi Central Market. He has laid out his vision to expand the second phase of the Kumasi Central Market. And so he'll be having an interaction with the traders. Currently, we are done with this um, interaction here 
at the Kwabri East constituency. The major promise for the people of the Kwabri East constituency is to fix their roads, to make sure that all the dilapidated road, road networks are tiled in no time. Uh, so in your short is the big bus carrying um, the high profiles um, for joining the Tamamud Baumiers campaign in the Ashanti region. Lawyer Adwa Safo is here, the majority, uh, the former majority leader, Osei Chairman Sabonsu, alongside Dr. Anthony Siaswari, the his main opponent in his in the MPP's presidential primaries, Kennedy Japan, is also in the bus. We we can see um, Kennedy Ohine and um, Kennedy uh, Japan. Well, that's Anabwachi Adam giving us an update on Dr. Baumia's tour in the Ashanti region. He's been making.